This is the loadout of the system I'm gonna be going over today. This is the famous Bose Pro 32. It's been out, I believe, it's going on now two years. So on the far left, you have the base unit, which holds all the electronics and the amplifier, all the important parts of the system. And it fits in that really nice padded case that comes with it. It's fairly light. Uh, in the middle, you have your columns. Again, case comes with it. And on the far right, we have a mystery subwoofer. Did Bose come up with their another new subwoofer? Well, we'll talk about it. And then on the very far right, we have all the cables you need to connect it. You have one power cable to connect the base unit to AC. Uh, we have a second AC cable to connect the subwoofer. And then we have um, dual RCA to female XLR, which co connects the base unit to the subwoofer. Okay, let's unpack it and we'll see what we have here. So what's the mystery subwoofer under that Remo slip cover? On your left, you have the Bose B1 subwoofer, sub-module, I believe they call it, from the L1 Model 2 series. And that was the smallest sub unit they ever produced. Very lightweight in the 20 pound region. But this subwoofer under the mystery cover is even smaller, as you can see. So this is the star of the show, the SVS Micro 3000 subwoofer. And we're comparing it to the smallest sub that works for the Pro 32, at least what both offers, and that's the Sub 1. I'm not even going to break out the Sub 2. That's just an enormous monster com in comparison. So that SVS uh, Micro 3000, check some of my previous videos. I did make some videos pairing that up with some other speakers, but it's, it's super tiny, as you can see but it is pricey, $900. It's a dual eight inch subwoofer and it's made for hi-fi, but I'm going to adapt it to PA today and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's another view of the three subwoofers in question. And again, you can see the scale of how tiny the Micro 3000 subwoofer really is in comparison. And remember the Bose Sub one is considered a tiny subwoofer. So here's the complete system we're talking about. Before I continue, I want to thank um, the, the Bose Facebook member who I got this idea from. His name is Luis Jacobo. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. He's from Mexico. He's a gigging musician. And he explained how he often carries his equipment, plays in small restaurant situations or small clubs, and he, he doesn't need the full column. He's a keyboardist. He doesn't need the full column to fill that space of maybe 75 or under 100 people. He doesn't need huge bass from the sub one, which isn't huge, but you know, if you're playing live drums, then you need something like a sub one. But if you're just augmenting a keyboard and you want a full range, low end sound for a restaurant where people are talking or a small club, you really don't need the 480 watt sub one. So this system is called half mast. And what it's all about is not using the full Pro 32 column leaving the, uh, the top column at home. Again, you don't need the extra weight. So the bottom column has 30, has 16 drivers, very similar to the Pro 16. So it is plenty, plenty loud. I was surprised when I first demoed it. And with that 180 degree throw that Bose is known for, it can fill most or any small restaurant with just this one small system. The subwoofer, like I mentioned before, $900, and the coincidence is the sub one is also $900. The problem with this little sub is uh, it doesn't have handles. It's not made for, to be a, a live sound subwoofer. It only comes in gloss finish. You can get it in gloss white. I got it in gloss black. So it's a fingerprint magnet. 
But what I'm trying to figure out is how, how to carry it. So if Jacobo is watching this video, hopefully he can uh, maybe chime in. How does he carry it? The only thing I've thought about uh, is maybe like a Tupperware, large Tupperware that they sell at Home Depot or Walmart and put some towels in there. But the subwoofer is very light. It's 23 pounds, or actually I think it's 22.5 pounds compared to the sub one, which is 36 pounds. So that 14 pound difference is quite a bit. And of course the size, you don't need something so large if, and you know, it's people's eyes go toward it. It looks like a, you know, a huge live PA sub and in a restaurant situation or in a small house party, this just would blend in better. One of the disadvantages of this system is the column is supposed to be at ear level, so it's a little low. But again, from my listening test, I, I couldn't hear any difference, to tell you the truth. I guess to, for the column, you would need, you know, to, you're playing 200 and above people, number of people. So this 16 driver column is fine. I guess if you really, really wanted to be picky and put it at ear level, you can put it on a table, which I wouldn't be so confident about. Someone can bang into it. Um, the column can be bought separately without the sub one or the sub two. I've seen it. I believe it's on the web, Bose website. You can buy it and some other internet uh, sellers sell it alone. The column by itself is two is 2000. Okay. And like I mentioned, the subwoofer is nine. So that's $2,900 for this system. And that's it. All you need is one XLR cable connecting it and you're good to go. Uh, one of the advantages of this system over the sub one is the fact that, that since this is a hi-fi sub, it goes down much lower in frequency extension. This sub goes down to 23, comfortably to 25 at decent volume. Again, I want to stress, this is not a live PA sub. You're not going to use this for outdoor use. I would say this sub uh, isn't going to go much nowhere near um, over 100 dB. So I would be comfortable bringing this up to 90 dB and you would get good extension down to 25 Hertz. And that is hi-fi territory. So if you're playing backing tracks like I do and you want to get a full range sound, uh, the sub one or the sub two, the sub two goes down to 37, this goes down to 23. Sub one goes down to 40, which is your typical PA sub. And again, this goes down to 23. So you're gaining a lot of frequencies for backing tracks um, that you wouldn't get with a live PA sub. Now, you might think you can use any subwoofer and that's not the case. As a matter of fact, Jacobo on his, on his uh, introduction of this setup, the half mass setup, he went through a whole bunch of subs and he chose this one because a lot of subwoofers don't go up to 200 HC, and that's what required. The crossover on the sub one and sub two is 200 HC. So you need a subwoofer that you can dial up and fill in those missing frequencies that the, the Bose um, Pro 32 column does not have. And guess what? This little SVS goes up to 200. So it's great coincidence. And it's just, it's perfect. Again, my only, um, Caveat is do not expect this to be playing at 129 dB like the Pro 32 with both columns set up. This is, this is not for maximum volume, but you get excellent 100 degree, 180 degree sound from this system called the half mast setup. And not many people have mentioned this using this on the um, Facebook Bose website, except this one person I'm mentioning. And I'm hoping maybe this video can convince other people to try this in a small, smaller setting. There's just no reason to carry the, the other column or the um, Bose Sub 1. Let's talk about weight. The power stand is 13 pounds. Very, very manageable. The, each column is 8 pounds. In this case, we're only using one column. And I mentioned the subwoofer is 22 pounds, 22.5 to be exact. So you have a, the whole system that can fill a large restaurant area up to 100 people, maybe 75, maybe 100. I'm not sure. I've never done it. 43 pounds. It's really incredible. And if, if you want to use this at the home, I've set this up in my living room. This will fill the largest living room. I have cathedral ceilings and it will fill a huge, huge space with Beautiful hi-fi sound. 
Again, not many people would think of using the Pro 32 for a home system, but I'm gonna tell you I've done it and it sounds wonderful. $2,900 system, give it a try. One of the things I wanna point out, when you don't use the top column section, uh, you have exposed the electronic connection. So I just put some um, cellophane, plastic wrap, and just cover that up. That would keep out the dirt and the dust. For the people who have been following my videos, uh, you probably know that I enjoy portable PA, lightweight, which this is very lightweight. So I'm using here the EcoFlow Pro, 600 watts, and it runs this system with no issue. I have tried 400 watts in the past with the Sub-1 and it did shut down on me, but um, so I went up to this 600 watt unit and I never had an issue. I'm not sure if the SVS uses more or less power than the Sub-1, probably less but the power stand doesn't use an awful lot of power. So this is a completely mobile system. And this is showing you some of the cabling. So here I have from your output on the Pro 32 base, XLR female, and that goes into the subwoofer. And I'm using dual RCA and that's it. I will show you the link for the people who are interested in trying this out. And then you have two power cables, one from the sub, one from the base unit. And in my case, I'm going into my power unit. And that's it. Very simple setup, super lightweight, but I would like to know that the DB this can push out. Like I mentioned, if the full tower system with the um, sub one can go up to 124 or 125 DB, but here you're using only one column in a different sub. I'm not sure what this could push, but definitely uh, over 100 dB with no problem. And it's like I mentioned a couple of times already, 180 degree throw that no other company matches that can fill a very large space. Another great feature of this subwoofer that's unique to SVS is it has this wonderful app. So you can control the subwoofer independently from the column which you cannot do with the, the sub one or sub two. And uh, so you can dial in, you can integrate the subwoofer, you can raise the volume if the tune is calls for more bass or you can lower the bass if it's something like jazz or a classical piece. So here I'm integrating the column at minus 20 with the subwoofer. Gives you an idea how much extra headroom I have with this SVS unit. So here we have the low pass frequency crossover set at 80 HZ, which is your normal setup with um, maybe studio monitors. But here I'm connecting it to the column array, which is a very different application. And here's the, the beauty of this. Right there, bring it up to 200 Hertz, fill in all that low end that the column is missing. If you've ever tried playing the Bose Pro 32 or the 16 column uh, without the subwoofer, it really sounds pretty terrible. It, everything is missing, but you add the subwoofer and all those missing frequencies from the low end to the middle range gets filled in. So this app is, is wonderful. And like I mentioned, the, the SVS Micro is one of the few subwoofers that can do this up to 200. And I do want to mention that as far as the micro subwoofer at that price, I, I got the micro strictly because of weight, mobility, moving it around from, I move it around from room to room. But if you don't need that extreme low weight of 22 pounds, you should go up to the, um, the SB2000, which is the same exact $900, of course, bigger and heavier, but it has quite a bit more output but I don't need bigger or lighter. I mean, bigger or uh, heavier, because that's the whole purpose of this system, lightweight, mobile. Okay, wrapping up this video. Again, I wanna thank Luis Jacobo in Mexico. Hope he can see this video. I wouldn't have gotten this idea without him, and I'm very happy 
I did because nobody else has ever matched up a home hi-fi subwoofer with the Pro 32. So I'm the first making the video, but it was his idea. So here we go, a $2,900 system. It takes the place of that huge monster, the Sub 1, which is funny because the Sub 2 is in the 50 pound range. The Sub 1 is 36 pounds, and now you go down to 22 and a half pounds. And it's even fun to put a little Carnuba wax on it and shine up that high gloss finish. It makes it look beautiful. Okay, hope you enjoy this, this video. It was fun. Um, if I get some good reaction, my next video would be a little sound demo of this. We'll see. This is Bill. Hope you enjoyed.